120 against 44 losses since 2002. The Yankees have dominated this series. It's Luis Heal, you look at the numbers and they are outstanding. What a month he just had. He picked up the baseball six times and won all six of those starts with a .7 ERA. Trevor Larnick gets the first crack at Luis Heal. Fly ball center field. Judge puts it away, one down. Here's Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. A 93 mile an hour changeup at some people's fastball. Grounded to short. Volpe gets Miranda. And Luis Hill with a 1 2 3 inning. Twins nothing. And the New York Yankees coming to bat. Yeah, a little inflated. A rough start last time out against the Royals. Two rough starts this year, kind of inflating the overall ERA. And start 12 here for Bailey. Anthony Volpe will lead it off for the Yanks. Anthony Volpe to right center field in the gap. Kepler back and Max will leap up and make the play on the warning track. A slicing drive and Kepler had a good route on that baseball one down. Here's the reigning AL player of the week in Juan Soto. And he does walk. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. 3-2 pitch has popped up. Near first base Miranda some light contact with Soto. But we play on as Miranda makes the play for out number two. Two outs, Alex Verdugo. Got under this one. Miranda Castro. And Castro calls and catches. Nice job, Bailey Ober. Works around a walk to Juan Soto. Royce Lewis bats second in a scoreless game so far. One out. And here's Royce. After about nine weeks, boys, number 23 is back tonight. That's outside, so Royce Lewis draws a walk in his first plate appearance back. With Alex Kirilov coming up. It is hit in the air behind second. Volpe back on the outfield grass about five steps makes the catch. Buxton hitting 232, three homers and 15 RBI. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Heal. Another scoreless inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One man left. We go to the bottom of the second. Scoreless here in the second. Here's Glaber hitting 230. High five ball, right field and deep. Going back, Kepler on the track at the wall. See ya! Up the top of the wall and rolls in. One nothing Yanks. Fifth home run of the year for Glaber Torres. I mentioned he's starting to get there. And the one thing when you face over, you got to stay on the ball out over the plate. He likes to cut it and try to drive it the other way, exactly what Glaber Torres did. It's in his glove. He never secures he, the ball. And it bounces on. It bounces into the stands. I'm sorry, that's a home yeah, run. That's a home run. We go to the third. Yankees up 1-0. Willie Castro will lead it off with the Twins. Did he go? Yes, he did. Castro down on strike. Strikeout number three for Heal. The ability on a 3-2 count. Here's my best heater. You can't do anything with it. Christian Vasquez hitting ninth here tonight. Vasquez to right center field. That's got some carry. Sending Soto back. Still going. That's going to be in play. And that's going to find the wall. And Christian Vasquez will make second base with a one out double. And that is the first hit that Luis Heel has allowed all season on an 0-2 count. The 0-2 swung on and hit to the right side of the diamond. Scooped up by Rizzo. He'll race to first base. And that's going to be out number two as Vasquez scores down to third. It'll bring up Carlos Correa. Strike three. Correa down looking. No runs you hit. No errors. One man left. We go to the bottom of the third. It's one nothing eggs. The Mayhew works the walk. Back to the top of the order and Anthony Volpe. Base hit. A 30 game on base streak. LeMayu stops at second, a base hit for Volpe, first and second with Soto and Judge coming up, nobody out. 30 game on base streak, but the swing has been the same all year long. So the Yanks have something cooking here in the bottom of the third, and here comes uh, the current version of Murderer's Row. Soto pops it up near the third base dugout, Lewis over, and Lewis with a play makes the catch, and there's a big out for over. LeMahieu at second, Volpe at first, one out. Judge a lifetime 338 hitter against the Twins with an OPS of 1.190. Punched in the right field, that is going to be a base hit. And it's going to roll into the corner. Scoring is LeMahieu. Here comes Volpe. He'll score. It's a two-run double for Judge. And the Yankees lead 3-0. Well, this is not Aaron Judge hardest hit this year, but he will take it right off the end of the bat. The question was, would it stay fair? And it does. His on base streak is now 30 as well. So he's tied with Volpe for the longest streak in the bigs. Alex Verdugo. 
Grounded to first, Miranda Fields will take it to first. Moving to third is Judge. Here's Giancarlo Stanton. Struck him out. He will still do that. Striking out 31% of the time, but a long inning for over, and the Yankees had two on the double from Judge. Two out walk to Lewis, and he's aboard for Kirillo. Swing and a miss. Got him. Strikeout number five. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and there's a walk to Castro. Third walk issued by Heel. Vasquez tends to hit into a bunch of double plays. This could be two. That conversation worked, John. 5-4-3. Five, Five shutout innings for Luis Heel. The end of four and a half, halfway through, three-nothing Yanks. 31 straight innings without a run against the Yankees. Strike three. Fastball on the outside corner. Correa down looking. He struck out three times. Here's my best fastball when it's located like that. There's nobody in the league that's going to be able to do anything. Popped up shallow left field. Coming on is Verdugo. And Hill with another one, two, three inning. This could be one of those games that we, we were talking about. They don't want to push him to 100. Let's give him a little bit of a blow. He gave them six strong innings, and they're saying that's enough. And his last seven starts, wow, is that impressive. A .6 ERA, a role that started in May, continues in June. It is the aforementioned Tommy Canely who comes in for Luis Hill. Yankees 32 straight scoreless innings against the Twins, the longest streak against any opponent since they did 33 against the Devil Rays. Lewis, two plate appearances and two walks. A swing and a drive into left center and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone! Why are we not surprised? Royce Lewis in his first game back, in his first game at Yankee Stadium, it's a home run, and the Twins are on the board. For the second consecutive year, Royce Lewis returns from an extended absence with a home run. It's 3-1 Yankees as Royce rounds the bases in the Big Apple. That's nice to have him back in the lineup. Caleb Thielbar comes on for the Twins. Soto, Judge, and Verdugo. Fly ball left field. Kirilov puts it away, one down. Thielbar, a tough lefty, has the fastball, the sweeper, and the curveball, and that's just a fastball down the middle that beats Juan Soto. Clearly frustrated with that. Judge is one for two tonight with the wall. Another base hit for Judge, a single to center field. Stanton in an 0-2 hole. Judge leads at first, two out. Drill deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. Into the second deck. A two-run blast by Stanton. And the Yankees lead 5-1. Soto and Judge are getting all the attention, but Stanton having a very solid beginning to his season. 420 feet. And that's his 150th home run as a Yankee. The Yankees have three players with 15 or more home runs in the first 62 games this season. That's the first time that's happened for a trio in Yankees history. They've had some pretty good trios. Luke Weaver on, get the final three. Well, this should do it. Fly ball to left field. Verdugo is there. And the Yankees win their sixth in a row. They beat the Twins five to one. Another great performance by Hill. A home run by Giancarlo Stanton. Couple of ribbies for Aaron Judge, and they just keep rolling along.